Growing up, I remember that there was a dad in my neighborhood who would drive around in an aqua car. You know, a car that was also a boat. It looked kind of cool, but I thought, let's be honest, not that cool. So stop trying to show off Kevin's dad. When it would rain really hard, I remember thinking, well, if there's a flood, his car will be just fine. Well, now if there's a flood, you don't need a floating car to brag because you can put your regular car into a bag. Usually when someone tells you to zip it, it's a bad thing. But if they're talking about your car and not your mouth, it could be a good thing. Like this big buoyant bag that zips up around a car to keep it afloat in a flood. Say that five times. I dialed up inventor Paul De La Fuente in the Philippines to learn more about what floats his boat, or I mean car. Hi, Paul. Welcome to Innovation Nation. Hey, Mo. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Tell us what inspired you to invent the car flood bag. Well, basically, there's around 13 to 15 typhoons that go through the Philippines every year. And personally, I was a victim of the flooding. And there's a big demand for us to protect our assets, especially our vehicles. So I was inspired to do something about it. How does it work? So it's basically a bag that's made of polyvinyl canvas. So it's a very strong plastic material. You basically just drive the car on top of it and then zip it up. Drive it and zip it. Paul says it's a one person job and there's no need to pump it full of air because, well, science. The surface tension itself underneath the, the car is actually enough for, for, for the car to float. But like many inventions, the devil was in the details, like how to test it. We made this makeshift pool in our garage. Actually, my wife was upset with me because we couldn't use the garage for a month. We actually made it as deep as three feet until the car actually floated. What size car fits inside? Right, that's a good question. We basically have multiple sizes and we can also do customization based on the size of your car. What do you anchor the car to? Right, you, we basically have four anchor points and you need to tie it to a stable structure or at least two stable structures because when it floats, you know, when there's a current, it will drift away. Thanks for floating your invention by us. Bye Mo, thanks for having me.